This episode of Mining Your Craft is brought to you by these amazing sponsors. If you'd like to support this series, visit patreon.com slash yourmcadmin. Mining Your Craft patrons get to spectate the filming live, as well as listen into the conversation uncut and unedited. Thank you so much for the support. Enjoy. Hey folks, I am here with Burnt Toast Gaming. Hey, what's up guys? And welcome back to... All right, so before we get too f involved here, the point of mining your craft is not only to play with another person and learn about them and their and their connection to the YouTube community, but it is also to complete a challenge. Ooh. And we have something new. I'm calling it the challenge chest. Ooh, challenge chest. Nice. So in this challenge chest, we will reveal the challenge that we have to complete this week. Can I possibly open it? Open it. Uh oh. And there's a oh, book in there that says challenge. This does you... not look promising. <laughs> Do you want to uh, read it out loud? <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. This week's challenge from Random Yeti on YouTube. Make a snow fort and a snow army. Uh, army. Snowman army. <laughs> a snowman <laughs> army. So I, so we're going to be making a... Nah. Yeah, so we got a bunch of shovels in here to, uh, to do the thing. Oh, I should probably put myself in the proper game mode. Oh, true. So that I'm not cheating. Mm, cheating. That's I'm a cheater. Blah. All right, so there is snow all around. We just have to find, a, I guess, find a place. I'm gonna go get some Probably food on in top here. Of the mountain, so for those who don't know who Burnt Toast Gaming is, do you want to give a little intro about what you what you do on YouTube? Uh, yeah, what kind sure. of videos you make? Uh, usually, I end up doing some Hypixel mini games on uh, YouTube Gaming. So I'll be, you know, up there in the YouTube Gaming list for uh, doing Minecraft videos. Uh, usually, I end up doing it like around 4:30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, I've been really busy lately with uh, school as well as, uh, you know, spending time with family this holiday, but, you know, I'm going to be getting back to it pretty soon, guys, so, you know, if you see a video that's like two weeks old, sorry, I'm going to be more active on my <laughs> channel, just, you know, school and everything's kind of been getting boggled up and whatnot, so, you know. <laughs> School's important, guys. True. School is important. So how long have you been playing Minecraft? Oh, jeez. Uh, let's see. Um, I think it was like March 2nd, 2012, I believe. So it's been almost like five years of playing Minecraft, to wow. be honest. You know the exact date. Mar yeah. <laughs> like, mm, exactly March know. 2nd. <laughs> Usually people end up like asking time on the live stream. So I'm like, hey, I gotta actually look this up because I'm like, crap. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's like, I think it was around March 12th, around there, 15th. I don't know. I have to go check on that again. But, uh, yeah, it's been pretty cool playing, you know, Minecraft for so long. Um, yeah. Honestly, for me, it doesn't really get boring. People are usually like, oh, burn, doesn't Minecraft get boring after a while? I'm like, not really. I don't know. It's... I feel like if you get bored of one game mode, there's a thousand other game modes for you to play. Yeah, really, it's like, Minecraft's pretty much is a game engine in, in its yeah. own, right? So, <laughs> it's pretty much, it's a game that you can play many different games inside of it. Um, have you heard of people actually put like playing Overwatch and whatnot on Minecraft? Like default with command blocks? D wow, that would yeah, be crazy. It's crazy. I don't know, maybe Minecraft Avatar knows more about that, but Probably. I, I, tried, I tried with Redstone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I cannot do command blocks. For yeah, neither yeah, neither can I. There's a cow up here. Kinda tempted yeah, hitting it off. <laughs> don't hit the cow off! He's I'm been sorry. here since day one. He's he jumped down there, got stuck in like the first episode, and the poor He's thing. Never moved. Guess we're gonna have to jump. Hmm. <laughs> now we got stuck down here with the cow. Oh no! All right, hold on. Let me try something. Ah. <laughs> I don't have many flat areas. This is what I get for building on a mountain. <laughs> yeah, there's one over here, but I don't know if we should probably you know wait for that for another episode or something. No, yeah, I think right over there across the river would probably be a good spot. Oh, and there's yeah. some, there's some, uh, uh, pumpkins there, too, for our snow golem army. Ooh, nice. Oh, wait, do we have shears by chance? Because I think we can still be able to remove them, unless they, like, change that in Minecraft. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, we can do that. We can make a, yeah. a derpy. Yeah, derpy snowman. <laughs> Reveal its actual face. <laughs> What's underneath the mask? Uh. <laughs> it's too ugly. Put it back on. I don't know, I was thinking about maybe doing a survival, like, 24-hour challenge with, uh, moderate that or other YouTubers. Just like popping in and out kind of thing. Just cool. see how much we can possibly get done. Like, of course, beat the game, go to the end. 
you know, get the elytra and whatnot, but see, like, how much we can possibly, like, stock up on ores as well as, like, uh, different buildings and whatnot. Uh, pretty cool. Alright, I believe we have our uh, castle grounds. Almost I think also. so. Um, how should we set this up? Um, I don't know how to do, like a traditional like castle or something like that or uh, like a <laughs> all I can think of was when someone says when someone says snow fort is like the square with the, the oh uh, yeah <laughs> like the kind of the top that looks like this <laughs> oh yeah that <laughs> that'll work all right what shape do you think we should go in um I think maybe a almost like an L shape I think would work out okay kind of like um something like this would kind of work like that and then okay. we could uh just re like do the same thing over here or something i don't know it could work out yes let's start shaping it out and we'll we'll go from there if we were gonna like you know get attacked or something with like a snow then you know it'd be nice to have like almost like a curvage kind of like blocking this from one side <laughs> kind of like preventing uh people from getting through here or anything or any of the mobs okay. i don't know you're putting a lot of thought into this i don't know i'm just thinking outside the box on this one <laughs> Outside the blocks, ha ha ha! Uh, uh, ooh, no. ooh, <laughs> ooh, ooh! All right, so the first kind of segment I have here is Minecraft news. Ooh. We got that whole Minecon thing that happened. True. Don't fall in the hole, accident. Oh yeah. <laughs> just, just made. So. <laughs> Place it back there. What do you think about the aquatic update, where they're oh, adding all yeah. kinds of crazy things to to the ocean? Oh my god, wait. What, what just see, happened? Did you see the thunder? I heard or lightning, lightning, saw the flash, and... Yeah, I was like, what the heck? It is coming to kill us. Um, but yeah, speaking of uh, Minecon Earth, um, yeah, I'm actually really excited for the aquatic update. Uh, they really didn't need to have uh, fish added to the game. That's been long overdue. By far. Absolutely, um, yeah. I don't know. We were kind of like speculating with a few other people on the Discord as well as on the live streams. Like, oh, what type of mob do you think is going to be added? And a lot of people were like, oh, they should add dolphins. And I was kind of like, I don't know <laughs> if they're going to add dolphins. Like, you know, if there's going to be any mob, I don't think it's going to be dolphins. You know, they had like those other mobs being like shown. And then like later on um, during the whole Minecon live stream, they go and announce like dolphins. No, <laughs> me and uh, me and my friend Ben, Melted Prism Marine. We were like, oh my god, look what's going on. Like, boy, everyone, like, predicted it. It was crazy. Um, but, yeah, oh. I mean, I'm pretty excited for it. The trident looks really crazy, like, really cool, as well as yeah. uh, the sunken ships. Because um, I kind of felt like the ocean biomes were really bland, and not many people really wanted to have ocean biomes. But I'm, I like how they're actually adding a few more things to it, not just, you know, <laughs> go off into, like, the middle of nowhere. Um, I hope the oceans are now going to become bigger. They yeah. used to be gigantic, and then they kind of shrunk them yeah, down. Yeah, they would, like, never, uh, they would always continue forever, and that's when people could actually do, like, those, uh, boat challenges and whatnot and see how far you can get. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was pretty crazy. Uh, I'm trying to think. I don't know. Maybe the, I was kind of thinking about Mob A kind of being better for the update. Like, I really did like Mob B. I think it's nice to, uh, you know... Um, if you're gonna be living on top of a mountain or something, well, you know, speak of us, you know, living on top of there, but, uh, um, I don't know, having, you know, the whole, uh, amnesia thing happening when you're not sleeping is really cool, it kind of adds there being a new mob that you kind of have to be afraid of other than just, yeah. you know, staring at Endermen, staying indoors, but, um, I don't know, it felt like Mob A kind of fit, uh, fit better with the aquatic update since you, it could actually protect, like, the, uh, the ships and whatnot. It kind of made more sense, but I kind of like how they're having the uh, um, amnesia thing up on the mountain. I kind of forgot what what the uh, mob's name is, actually. I think just Mob A, I believe, or Mob B. Black. Yeah, I don't I think, think they actually had a name. Yeah. <laughs> I liked Mob B. Yeah, I think everyone kind of wanted to have Mob B. I saw the possibility of like, Mob B working out, and I was kind of like, oh, that's really like, you can go and enchant, but at the same time, the mob itself is going to be, like, super rare to find, and I don't know yeah. how exactly that would kind of, you know, work out as a survival standpoint. Because um, it kind of put it as being, like, almost, like, once in, like, a thousand chance of finding it in any <laughs> biome. And, um, but, hey, I was kind of excited for that one if it were to be. But Yeah, they were all good. Yeah, it just kind of stinks that they're um, they're not going to be adding to the game, but, hey, that's where it's for... I don't know. I always kind of thought, why, uh, why didn't they actually add sandwiches in Minecraft yet? Sandwiches? Uh, I, I always kind of thought about that. I was like, you could literally put like two bread and then like a steak, and they could give you like 
um i don't know maybe it'll make it so your hunger doesn't like go down that like it'll go down slower or something like the opposite of a hunger but um oh jeez oh jeez hold up hi hi <laughs> <laughs> trying to slay it real quick all right here we go and I believe it's gone there we go got it this segment is called help a noob do you have any advice for those noobs out there who are just starting on youtube oh yeah um let me think usually with youtube it's mainly a whole process of uh, at least where i am right now with uh youtube i'm of course i'm at like 4,000 subscribers but to me it doesn't really seem like i have that much uh, progress done with my youtube channel um but yeah if you're getting to youtube really uh most channels don't really go and get as popular as um as you know the huge big like million subscriber youtubers is you mainly just have to get your name out there like really go talk to your friends at school go really tell anyone just to go and subscribe to your channel you know even if it's you know your mom or your dad just go and ask them like hey do you mind subscribing and that's always an extra subscriber i mean hey if you get like two subs in one day you just like doubled your amount of subscribers from zero you know um so yeah, basically, I would suggest kind of going on like Google Plus or Twitter and kind of like spread your name out there. Um, one thing that I would not really suggest to go and do is go to other people's channels and go and ask like, oh, can you go and like check this out? Like, it's kind of nice to go and get messages and whatnot. It's like, oh, I really like your like channel, but can you please subscribe? It's kind of like, um, I don't know. It's usually kind of a thing. It's publicity, but it's not the type of publicity that you want to have as a content creator because it seems like you're kind of begging for subscribers. Um, mainly try and just get, get well with the community, go on like, um, Twitter, Google plus stuff like that, and just start making friends and see if they'll subscribe. Um, there's a lot of small Minecraft, uh, Minecraft YouTube communities up on Google plus as well as, um, Tumblr and whatnot that will be welcoming for people like you just, you know, go and hop on there. Um, I don't really have any communities at the moment to really go and shout out or anything, but. Um, there's plenty of them out there. You just pretty much need, just need to search it. Um, that as well as just to make really good quality content and really just try your best. Like me personally, I haven't made a video in God. I usually been doing live streams as much as possible, but usually when I try to go and make videos, I try and put like my 110% like, into it, knowing that um, usually I don't want to look back at this video and be like, I don't know if I should really be having this on my channel. Like, Really, you want to make videos that you want to be proud of for later in the future, even if it is kind of cringy. Um, <laughs> There's the word. I was waiting but, for the uh, word cringe. <laughs> yeah. But like um, my first video, oh, God, I had so many audio problems, like a screen crunch and everything. But I kind of look back at it. And I'm like, hey, you know, I did pretty OK with that video for, you know, what I knew on YouTube. And just kind of um, the more videos you make, the better you are as a YouTuber will get. And yeah, just <laughs> really. Um, just really don't stop making videos. That's the main thing. And if you really do need to have a break on YouTube and it's kind of like overstressing yourself, then go take yourself a break. Like you don't, you're not hold to any type of task of gaining this many subscribers by this date or that date. Um, me personally, I definitely have to get back into YouTube, but I just been so stuck with school that I just been kind of freaking out. Like, geez, I don't want to let my YouTube channel die or anything, but, um, Believe me, it won't just, you don't want to get stressed out, out over like just the little stuff. Just really enjoy the stuff that you make on YouTube and really make content that you really want to make. Don't make content that other people tell you to make. Of course, you know, people are like, hey, you know, Burnt, you should go and do like a live stream on this place. I'm like, yeah, sure. I'll go check it out. And if I like the place, then yeah, I'll go and make a video on it. But um, if people go and say like, oh, you're such bad at this game or so bad at this, you should go and do this instead. And you don't like that, then take their advice into consideration, but don't always follow exactly what they say. They're not the ones that are running the YouTube channel. You are. That's, uh, that's mainly what I have to say. <laughs> I know it's a little bit of a uh rant a little bit but you know that's just me from my own experiences yeah as... everyone has different experiences and that's very important yeah. to hear from everyone mm. so you you mentioned in there something that uh that I, i'm always interested with uh with the younger youtubers is you oh, yeah. said tell your friends at school to subscribe and, and look at your channel oh yeah of course so you actually you share your youtube with your friends yeah um i do that time to time like i'll go and usually me personally 
uh, my friends would kind of like tease it to me. They're like, oh, burnt teaming. And I'd be like, hey, what's up, my dude? Like, I just kind of <laughs> throw it out there. And um, yeah, it's kind of nice because, you know, if you talk about it, then other people will talk about it. Like, if your friends talk about it to you, then people will obviously overhear it. Um, yeah. But yeah, just really do stuff that you love to do on YouTube as well as, you know, just in life in general. And definitely uh, good things will come out of it. I've heard some kids go like, you know, I didn't tell anyone at school about my YouTube channel. Then somebody found out. And now I'm being made fun oh, of and things oh, like yeah. that. It's and it's kind of yeah. Some really, kids, it's, some kids suck. I mean, yeah. <laughs> some kids just <laughs> want to be I've mean to be mean. Um, really, it doesn't really matter what other people really think. I mean, of course, you know, there's the whole stereotype with Minecraft and whatnot, as well as Roblox and other games that you know that I tend to be associated with time to time. Not really Roblox, but, you know, just in that type of category. But it's kind of like, you know, I enjoy playing the game. Like, what do you expect me to do? You know, I'm not going to go and hop on Rainbow Six Siege or anything like that. I mean, heck, I, I don't like the game, so I'm not going to go play it. You know, it's just kind of like, you know, I just do what I like to do on YouTube. And I don't, like, personally, I never really found any problem with people really, uh, Oh, I mean, a few times, but really, I just shrug it off because it really doesn't matter. Just really embrace it, honestly. Um, and it'll blow by really quick. And, you know, in the meantime, I kind of had a few friends um, in middle school I kind of ended up talking to. And uh, they kind of actually did make fun a little bit about my YouTube like a little while back. But, um, you know, I actually ended up becoming good friends with them up until like high school as of right now. I still talk to him. Heck, he was over at my house a few days ago. We played some uh, <laughs> MC, so um, yeah, just, you know, you've, uh, your enemies aren't really, you know, your friends are your enemies and your enemies are your friends. It just kind of depends. Um, really, you don't know what's going to end up happening. You can just be talking to one person. They could completely flip the other way in a couple of years and they could be your like best friend. Who knows? But, you know, really don't go into like a whole, you know, saying that Minecraft is this and Minecraft is that. Really just, you know, shrug it off and it's like, well, I'm, you know, that's what I do. It just happens. <laughs> so do you have any idea what you want to do after school? Um, probably get pursue? into like, yeah, I was kind of thinking about like graphic design as well as uh, computer science. Um, one of those type of pathways I was thinking of. Of course, I'm still going to do YouTube in college. Um, but yeah, probably like one of those type of things and you know, if my YouTube does go well, then you know, that, that's great, you know what I mean? It'll be like, kind of the side thing that I'll end up doing, but if it really takes off, that will be like, <laughs> yeah, let me put all my time over YouTube. Yeah. But, um, I don't know, I was kind of thinking of a few different ideas of uh, somewhat incorporating uh, computer science and uh, a few of the things I like to do into uh, my YouTube channel. I'm not really going to say anything just yet because I'm kind of having some plans and the no offense or anything, but I don't really want anyone kind of stealing the idea because it's, uh, <laughs> it's... Trust me, I know all bit, about people stealing ideas. Yeah. <laughs> I don't blame you. It's going to be, honestly, it's going to be really stupid. <laughs> but... Um, Sometimes some of the stupidest things are the best things, though. One thing that I will uh, say about it, though, is it does have to do with my channel name or the object that's revolving around my uh, channel's name. But, um, you know, I won't really go into detail that much about it, but it has... Oh, so it's about is, gaming? Um, possibly. <laughs> this segment is called UQ, they A, where you, the audience, asks they, the Burnt Toast Gaming, the Qs, and he gives you the A's. A couple of these questions are referring to your name. Okay. A lot of people, I like your name. Uh, the, yeah. When I found out your name, I'm like, that is, that is probably one of the best YouTube names ever. Yeah. <laughs> So the first one is by uh, comes from Amin Patrick on Twitter. He asks, "Have you ever actually burnt toast in a toaster?" So what ended up happening is uh, this was around, I believe, February, I think, twenty sixth, roughly. I don't know. Don't quote me on this. Like two thousand fifteen. Um, I was really excited to uh, you know be going to school and whatnot. I recently been uh, playing with a few friends on uh, Xbox three sixty, and I was like really excited because. We did some uh, really stupid stuff on uh, playing Call of Duty Zombies. And um, yeah, I was pretty much real ready to go to school. It was snowing like crazy outside and I was kind of, man, it would really be amazing if I could just, you know, stay home and you know play on the Xbox with a few of my friends. And um, I ended up waiting for the bus and I waited and, and waited <laughs> uh, for like 45 minutes until my mom actually ended up call, uh, calling me from the house and was like, hey, you know, James. You know, like the bus isn't coming, school's canceled. So I was like, I was so excited. I ended up running straight home. Um, 
my mom ended up going to work and I was kind of like, you know, home alone, <laughs> home alone, uh, for confirmed. Uh, but what ended up happening is I ended up, uh, putting some toast in the toaster and I ended up going down the Xbox. So I got into a group chat with a few of my friends, started playing zombies. And I was a good like hour into the game until I heard the, uh, smoke alarms in my house starting to go off. And, um, this is the time when I was living in a townhouse. So I was afraid that, um, all my neighbors' alarms would start going off, so I was like, "Oh crap!" Let me go upstairs, and I ended up uh, seeing the toaster uh, just about to be. Uh, pretty much, it was just smoking like crazy, black smoke everywhere, and I was like, "Oh shoot!" So I ended up, uh, and this is like a new house we ended up moving into, so I had no clue where the fire extinguisher was or anything like that. So oh, no. I ended up uh, putting on these uh, thermal oven mitts, uh, ridiculous as they do seem. Um, I ended up unplugging it, and I opened up the window, and I just chucked the toaster outside. <laughs> um, and I ended up fanning away, like, all the alarms. Um, my, uh, my neighbor, we had, like, an elderly neighbor at the, at the, uh, at the time, and he ended up going outside into his backyard, and this was, like, two feet of snow. So he saw me chuck the toaster out the window. <laughs> and I just kind of made awkward eye contact, and I was, like, closing the window, and I was like, nope, I'm not gonna <laughs> deal with that. Um... But uh, yeah, a couple hours uh, later, I was kind of thinking of a YouTube name because uh, my friends were like, hey, we should probably do like a YouTube channel because we ended up doing these really stupid things in uh, Zombies and we would never have it recorded or if we did, we couldn't really go and share it or anything. So I was like, you know, I'll just end up making a channel and there's like, okay, what should you do for it? And I was kind of thinking about it and I was just like, you know, burnt toast gaming will kind of work, you know, kind of just burnt my toast while I was gaming. So, you know, and... The rest was history. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait. Do you know Minecraft f underscore four days on Twitter? Uh, yeah, I believe so. I think I heard Okay. It. Uh, because they, their question was actually, how many, t <laughs> how many times have you almost burnt down your house? Oh, God. <laughs> um, Has it been more than once? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think you can kind of uh, picture... Um, well, of course, that was the one time that ended up happening. Um, I know there was a second time that ended up involving a, uh, it had to do with the, uh, like a toaster strudel, kind of. It was some weird off-branded one. I have no clue. It was like Those some sort of like, Garfield ones. toaster thing. I had no clue. Um, but I was, you know, being as young as I was and how, um, you know, I just didn't really take the wrapping off before I put in the uh, microwave. I kind of just threw it in there. And, uh, yeah, it kind of started sparking like crazy, so, um, if I didn't really realize that, then I suppose my house would have burnt down, um, but, uh, yeah. And just to throw this out there, uh, just for, just for the heck of it, um, my house did burn down. <laughs> what? In, uh, like, around 2013-ish, we don't really know what the pro- I think it was like, it was like a propane tank, and that's kind of the reason I was in a, uh, townhouse, but, um, I swear I wasn't the person who burned down the house. I'm just going to throw that out there because people always compare it because it's just like, um, if I'm ever dealing with lava or something in Minecraft, it's like, oh, Bert, you burned down your house again. I'm like, I oh promise my God. you, the first time was not the time I actually burnt it down. I almost did two times. But before then, that was not me. I swear. So um, you should just stick to eating cold food. Yeah, I'm going to eat cold cereal. Just, you know, <laughs> stuff like that. Just be very depressed. <laughs> Oh my gosh, your your name is so fitting. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, nothing over here is combustible, so we should be okay. Thankfully. I picked the right challenge today, didn't yeah. I? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we got a question from Golden Ninja. Oh, okay, cool. Everyone knows Golden Ninja. He always comes up with great questions. Yeah, sure. He asks, I think you kind of, you may have actually answered this a little bit. Uh, when did you start YouTube, and why did you start your YouTube channel? Um, so I started my YouTube channel in, I would say, February 30th, I believe. Um, or, I believe it was January 30th. Yeah, it was January 30th, 2015. Um, I did start my channel. I think it was the 30th or 31st. I don't know, YouTube gets it wrong, and then Social Blades is another, so I'm like, ah, whatever. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, that's when I started my YouTube channel. I mainly use my YouTube channel because uh, me, and my, me and my friends, of course, would uh, do really stupid stuff in video games and we really never have a chance to go and share it to, uh, to each other. So that's why I ended up making my channel. But um, I think another reason was I would see all these different type of YouTubers like really popular on YouTube. 
and this was like the whole this was a time uh this is like in 2015 where there's like all this clickbait really like short uh you know 10 minute long videos and it'll be like nothing but really filler at that time um and i would kind of see these bigger youtubers and i would kind of be like you know why can't i do that like i would kind of be like well if they're you know make, doing such a good uh job with their channel and you know they're not really putting that much effort into uh into the channel and you know why can't i be you know do something similar to that with you know just a lot more effort and you know stuff like that put into it who are some youtubers that uh you've been inspired by i think the one youtuber that really did in uh inspire me to actually like well at least the content i actually do make would um have to be sgc barbarian um not his more recent content i kind of you know don't really enjoy the whole uh finance of freddy's thing that he's doing now but um back in the day he used to do like a whole survival uh minecraft thing and it would go to this like amazing seed where there's literally everything possible on like minecraft 1.3 um and this would be like a good year before i actually uh did actually end up getting minecraft so i'd like watch his videos and like literally the coolest thing and um i would also remember watching i think he also had like um he had some uh world of war zombie videos i would be like so scared of those videos and i would be like oh my gosh like i really want to know more of this watching his videos even though of course you know if i was caught watching it would be like oh we gotta take away youtube for you james and it's like <laughs> don't want to get that nightmare fuel but uh yeah it was just kind of like jeez i really did enjoy watching his content because it kind of uh you know it kind of shapes my channel now i sometimes make world at war videos really rarely ever now but um you know i kind of just ended up basing my channel around just like do the games i kind of want to do um yeah. but um yeah because you'll end up like doing a minecraft thing and then like go out of nowhere and make this other video game and i'll be like whoa what the heck is this and i'll start checking it out and it'll be like the coolest thing but yeah, and I was was thinking like, geez, if I ever was in a position like him, like I would like make so many videos and do so many things with like so many different opportunities with like, you know, there's that many viewers as well as, you know, this experience in general. Because I'm like, you can actually make a mob like you can make mobs fall from the sky using like uh, uh, like a mob grinder. Just that that always blew my mind. And he like built it right above his uh, main house there. And I was like. That is the craziest thing I've ever seen because um, he would always get killed trying to get off the mountain. So he just ended up farming them instead. And I was just like, mine, like my mind was just blown because I didn't think you could do that much in Minecraft. And um, yeah, that's mainly the, uh, the main reason or one of the uh, people that actually got me into uh, playing Minecraft, honestly. So the next segment I have is called Desert Island. If you were stranded on a desert island in your real life. And you could take three things to that desert island. What three things would you take? A solar panel. That's mm -hmm. one. Two. Uh, some sort of a uh, battery, and then three. Uh, my laptop. <laughs> <laughs> if, if that would really be the case. So um, you're forever, so you're stuck with the contents of your laptop forever. Yes. Okay. Hopefully it's not just MS Paint, because that would be... <laughs> that would <laughs> make, be sure really you, make sure you download all your games beforehand. True. Make sure it's not like Ubisoft requiring an internet connection. Oh, yeah. That, that would be horrible. Just like Steam updates required. Just like, <laughs> I, this, I'm stuck here. Uh, do you have the shears with you? Yes. Hey. All right, let's derpify them. All right. All right. Where should we possibly put the other two cement? <laughs> <laughs> so <That's> bad. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, poor dude. Let the uh, magic happen real quick. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> I think you have to place the pumpkin down last. Oh, got it. <laughs> oh, no. Well, then. Look what you All just right. did. Alrighty. Don't worry about it. We still got this. I thought the uh, other snow was a skeleton just blending in. <laughs> All right, and uh, now we're going to make it so no one can see him again. All right, there we go. <laughs> poor, poor snowman. <laughs> With a red-headed stepchild. He was so ugly that everyone died. 
Your snow cone, sir. <laughs> I made it myself. Oh, ew. <laughs> what part of this is you? <laughs> what what kind of snowballs are these? Oh, God. What kind of snow cones are these? <laughs> you know, I just saw something that's really dark, but at the same time, it kind of makes sense. Um, why would a snowman be living in a house made out of snow? <laughs> like, I, I kind of just thought of that. I'm like, that, that's kind of a... The, I, I mean, you don't have wallpaper made out of human skin? I call this uh, mission accomplished, challenge yeah, complete. I, I would say so. We got a snow golem army here that yeah. are kind of completely entirely useless. Uh, but... We could put... Uh, some fire on the sides as long as you know oh yeah look over here kind of like that oh really where can people find you on the social medias oh um on twitter at uh burntos yt as well as up um youtube of course being burntos gaming as of right now i'm just finishing up my uh unit with physics right now so um i'm definitely gonna be able to start doing a few more live streams for, uh winter break and Possibly by then, I'll end up being uh, able to go crank out tons of uh, live streams, as well as a few videos here and there. Um, there are a few seasonal, um, as well as a uh, compilation of all my uh, live streams I've done in the past like two years. So and all the uh, horrible, cringy mess that's been going on in there. So the last thing we do on Mining Your Craft yep. is have some life advice from our guest. I know you're still young. Yes. But what, what life advice would you have hmm. for the people of the world? I would say mainly for just life advice in general, just don't stress yourself out. Um, if you're younger than me or older than me, um, if you're older than me, you should probably know. Um, not everything's going to go your way. Usually things will end up uh, happening that is completely different than what you'd ever th think happening. Um but really, all you can really do is just, like, we're all in this world for a reason, and just, you know, we're all in this, the same game of life, so um, we don't know what's going to be the next move or the next uh, next throw or, you know, the next gamble. Um, but we just really have to, you know, be out there and see. Just take everything with a pinch of salt and just, you know ride this wave we call life times happen that are good or bad it doesn't matter if you're the worst person in the entire world or you're the happiest person in the world there's still going to be bad times that do happen just really all they are, are just times that are bad they're just going to go on by and there's going to be more good than bad that happens um it's it's a fact it, it's kind of odd it's just uh, most of the things that you do remember are usually the bad stuff that does happen um but there's always a lot more good that comes out of the bad. Mind